Today I'll be reviewing Summon to Another World for a second time. I have no idea why this generic Iskayami series got so popular, but it is, so I decided to give it a chance. In this anime series, the main character Tsetsu is summoned to another world, but the plot twist here is that he was already summoned here before. This Iskayami series had many problems that became obvious early on. The premise may sound interesting at first, but as you watch this anime series more and more, you'll realize why it's so boring. After the first good episode, this anime series just gives you boring episode after boring episode that you just don't care about. We see a main character helping a girl fulfill her dead family member's request. We see a boring flashback involving Setsu and his childhood friend. To make things worse, we get stuck with an episode involving just Setsu's childhood friend, which was so painfully boring. When the anime series actually does have exciting scenes, it was so poorly paced. It's like, Setsu goes to this place for one episode, then goes to another place for one episode. It's like everything's happening too quickly. Let's just slow down the pace and let the events develop into something interesting. I was not a fan of the plot as the anime series went on. Throughout the anime series, it just felt like an anime series about Setsu remembering his enjoyable moments the first time he went to this world. So Setsu is just going around the world, meeting old friends as they talk about old times. At this point, you might as well just scrap the idea altogether and just show Setsu's first time exploring this fantasy world. It's going to be generic Iskai scenes either way. The plot twist about him being in this world for a second time didn't really help make this anime series better, it made it worse. What I thought this anime series was going for was Setsu keeping his identity secret and then just shocking everyone with his knowledge and power. But with him practically telling everyone his secret, it just ruined the surprise, and any enjoyment you get from watching Setsu fight. The drama in this anime series was just terrible. It's just a male yandere that is obsessed with Setsu. No one likes male yandere characters, they're just annoying. There really isn't great motivation or great emotional scenes. It's just a male yandere being crazy. It just makes you not care about this anime series. In terms of the characters, this anime series does a poor job at getting you care about any other character besides Setsu. Setsu as a main character is pretty good. He's a confident guy with lots of charisma, but he just didn't stand out enough to carry the show from being terrible. The opening and ending song for this anime series were forgettable. The music for the fight scenes was okay, but nothing too exciting. The animation style and the animation looked average. This generic Iskai anime series was a waste of time, and I'm not sure why people kept watching this anime series. It's not all time bad to the point of being funny, it's just generic and boring. I give this anime series a 4 out of 10.